Hello, my digital nomads. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing a tier list of uh, what I think is the best AI content writer among four AI content writers. And they are Word Hero, Writer, Closes Copy, Kateb, and Jasper AI. So without uh, further ado, let's begin. Now, I'm on top of this, you know, I'm going to kind of test this with a third AI. And this AI is very unique in that um, one will grade the readability of the AI and the other will grade how well um, it can pass human, you know, human content, like how well it can pass an AI detector. So I'm going to throw in two AIs and that way it makes things more quantifiable instead of it's just one man's opinion or one person's opinion. This is software compared to each other that's been vetted and ran through two different AI third party software. Okay, so let's begin. Now, the way I'm going to do this uh, informal test, I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's go to Word Hero. I'm going to ask it to uh, just do something very simple. Type a video description and uh, let's see. I'm going to use the keyword why AI is great. Okay, just something very very bland and i'm just going to go ahead and, and try to create the same type of uh content for all the different types of ais all right so i'm just going to go ahead and click right for me and whatever comes out i'm just going to take the output of this and just run, run it straight through okay so i was going to take the first one here all right and then i'm going to open up grammarly oops uh let me go ahead and Let me go ahead and open it manually. No, no, that's not it. Let's see. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna add a new document and then add this, add the output directly to Grammarly, so you can see um, the readability of what what this AI was basically a. a software grammarly is a third-party software that basically grades the readability and plagiarism of your your content all right so that way it kind of gives it an objective score okay so overall it grammarly gave 96 score to um word hero it gave one correctness alert clarity was a clear engagement is a bit bland delivery is just right and style guide is all good now we check for plagiarism okay and it's 100 percent original okay now we go through the next test and that is the ai test all right so we go to for that we go to originally dot ai all right and what it does is it detects how well AI content it can can pass de uh, detection, right? It's going to scan it and tell me what percentage of this it thinks it's AI. I'm going to go ahead and scan now, right? And I'm, you know, using my my money so you can you can see the results, right? I've already purchased credits and I'm using the software to make sure that, um, you know, you get an informed decision you know, because there's so many AIs out there that say that they're the best, but there's no, you know no metrics to back it up so i'm i want to quantify and i kind of want to make it more less you know foggy and more and more clear as to uh what's the output how how well is the output of you know, each one okay now while we're waiting for this oh okay so it goes uh, zero percent original 100 percent ai all right so un unfortunately it 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 does well with overall score it does well with readability it does well with uh, you know original material however it fails the ai detection all right so word hero next now there are some things that you can do to you know get around this but uh, i have another video for that next writer do the same same thing video description plop it in here oops uh, why is AI? Why is AI so great? Okay. Go ahead and copy this. I'm gonna, you know, keep it on the standard, and I'm just gonna go pick the top one just to just to keep the, the format simple. Okay. And then go ahead, copy this. 
I'm going to go ahead and go to Grammarly, do the same thing, just, you know, paste it in here, let it recalculate everything. 99 overall score, um, correctness, clear, sorry, clarity is clear, engagement is very engaging, uh, delivery is just right, styles are good, and let's check for plagiarism. Okay, oops. And plagiarism says it's 100% original. Now let's go ahead and copy this with uh, originally originality.ai and see how original it is. Okay, so let's go ahead and scan. Okay, and this one fails too, 100% AI. All right, now let's move on. Um, we will move on to Kateb. All right. I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's see if I can write AI templates. I go to the dashboard and I'm going to look for a you know, video description. I don't really see. Let's see, dashboard. All right, maybe I should. <clears throat> templates okay i'm just going to go ahead and, and, and type it in here uh a y is good right, i'll click generate and see what what generates out of this okay now this one is a bit slow so compared to other web-based ai content writing tools all right so let's hold off on that let's Let's see how long it will take to you to generate. All right. And move on to the next one. Now, Jasper. Jasper, I think I'm going to put at the bottom. And I'm telling you why is because the pricing is $82 a month. All right. And then it's a thousand words per month. Here is the kicker. For those of you who are new to AI content writers, this might sound like a lot of words. But in reality, what, you, what, what really happens is you're, half of these credits are unusable. Uh, maybe more, maybe less, but because it takes an AI kind of like a, a primer content, right? It, doesn't get, it might not get the, the, the content down the first time, if, especially if you're talking about something complicated. You might need two or three tr tries, and you're eating up your words every single, <laughs> you know, every single month. And I, I just don't think it's, it's, it's a... Uh, it's a good payment uh, system, right? So for that, I have to say that it goes to the bottom, right? Plus the content itself wasn't, it's, it's that doesn't justify the cost, right? So I put that on a D, D tier. Word Hero, I put it on S, okay? Rider, I put it on a, a B. A tab is maybe a C. Closes copy is I'd say maybe 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 an A A or S. It, it, it's very close. Now let me go back to Kateb C. What we get from here? Uh, let's see. Let me refresh this. Okay. Now while we're waiting for that, let me just go ahead and. Now enter in my account. Hold on, let me go ahead and enter that account real quick. Okay, so I'm back back in the uh, dashboard, and uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and you know type in you know why AI is great. Okay, was it great or good? Let me see. Yeah, great. Go ahead, click on uh, create full article. Now, they don't have a description, a video description, so I'm just going to go ahead and take the first paragraph and see what comes out here. Oh, hold on, let me... Uh... Yeah, let me go ahead and generate this. Wait for that to generate, and then go to close this copy. Okay, so I'm just going to go into here. I'm going to... Um open a free template so 
And then once it, once it opens up, I'm just going to go ahead and paste uh, the title and just see if it can generate you know, something decent and then plug it into both Grammarly and uh, Originality AI. All right, let's see how it goes. All right, it's like 36%. Okay, right oh, here, AI image demo, generator demo. This is just why AI is great. Okay, and then from here, and go into long form. and just have it right for me okay just give it a sec this is a web-based tool oops it has to be longer let me see if i can do something short for him now i go to frameworks the good thing about closed copy is that it has a lot of different things that you can go into and it has unique things such as uh, fill in the blank templates where you just put your own input in and then um, it, it writes, it has the rest for you. Okay. And then it has pure AI and different forms of templates, short form and long form. But it also depends on your internet speed. And unfortunately where I'm at, it's a bit slow, but let me check on the other. Okay. So this one is done. I'm going to go ahead and just copy the first paragraph. And then from here, I'm just going to paste it in to uh, Grammarly. And uh, let's see what, what comes up. Let me refresh this. Okay. Oops. So once it's refreshed, I'm going to go ahead and see check that stats. Okay. So this is the, this is the stats it's calculating. 84 overall goals um it's like correct alert correctness is four alerts clarity is a bit unclear engagement is very engaging uh, delivery is just right and style guys are good let's check uh plagiarism okay plagiarism 100 percent original now let's go ahead and copy this and then add it into the uh originality.ai and see does it you know out of the box does it uh does it pass the AI detector? Oh, now this one does a little bit better. This one's 99% AI and 1% original. So for that, it does better, but it took a hit on Grammarly. All right. Now let's go back to here. Got a video description. I'm going to go ahead and use it right here. Okay. So copy this, put it into here, and then click right for me. Uh, look, wait for the countdown to go down. Okay. So it's 9, 8, and then once it counts down, it should be generating some content. I'm just going to go ahead and take that, plop it into Grammarly, pop it into originality. And from there, you can go ahead and, and see for yourself. All right. So uh, I'm just going to take the first one here. Uh, maybe just these two here. Copy. Go to Grammarly. Delete this. Paste it in here. And let it regenerate a new score. All right. So you got 83 overall. Uh, correctness is two, very similar to the other ones, but plagiarism is 20%. Okay. Now we go to or originality and dot AI and see if it, how well it does passing the. Uh, oh, let me just delete this. How well it does passing the. The AI detecting. Let me paste it in here. Oh, I, I need a little bit more. Okay, let me let me go back and uh, get get a little bit more. Copy this and see how well it does. Scan now. One hundred percent AI. Now, uh, I have another video that shows you how to go ahead and bypass this, but let me just go ahead and, and show you real quick uh, how to do that. There's two main me uh, main methods that I like to use. One is simply you go to you use Grammarly, 
you go ahead and take the same content, highlight everything. Oops. Uh, let's see, delivery, engagement, all suggestions. No, 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 no. And then you simply highlight, let's see this. And you go down and do the corrections, right? So whatever they say, go ahead and do it if it makes sense. Okay. Uh, let's see, lives. Okay, and then you can have it rewrite for clarity. All right, and then from there, you just take it, copy it, and now let's go ahead and test for how well it does. All right. Scan again. Hmm, that's weird. I guess I'll have to rewrite this a bit more. Let's see. All right, so copy everything, go back and try one more time. In some cases, once you make the corrections, it should be able to uh, increase the originality, okay? But in other cases, not so much. All right, and if this doesn't work, then that second method I'll show you is you take the, the content, so you go back here, whatever, I'm oh, sorry, uh, right here, copy it, and then you go into, uh, where is it? Let's see. You go to a, a, a site called Quillbot, paste it in here, and then have them, have them paraphrase for you. Okay, so I paste the text in here, click on paraphrase, and go down and go down line by line and rewrite re everything. Uh, you can also rephrase it if, if you want to, but I'm gonna leave it at that. Copy, go to originality.ai, delete everything, paste, scan again. All right, so now you can see it's slowly going up 2% uh, origin, original and 98% AI. Now, you, of course, you'd have to you know, play around with this, but you can see how the originality score is getting higher. All right, so all in all, let me, let's go over the, the tier rank and, and why I think it's good. This one, Word Hero, got the top because it, um, all in all, it does, it does well with both um, Grammarly. Now, AI detection, you're going to have to spin it a, a bit, but uh, the pricing plan is very reasonable, too, uh, for now. If you use the link down in my description below, you'll be able to get a lifetime deal, okay? Same with closest copy, but it's not, it's it depends on it. Closest copy has a wider set of tools than Word Hero. But Word Hero's tools that are, are more, a little bit less, a little bit more limited than closest copy, but it, it functions well, a little bit better. And Writer is it's a solid B. It's it's cheaper than the other two. Right? It's a monthly fee, no no lifetime deal. And then you got um, what was it Kateb, all right? And that one is it's 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 an okay one. Um, it does what decent on Grammarly and you know, originally AI needs to be tweaked. This one's the worst. Jasper's the worst because you gotta pay an arm and a leg every single month, and, it, and they give you like really they give you like only a hundred words per month credits. And like I said, you you typically use those credits to burn. You burn through those credits because you kind of have to train the AI to you know prime the AI to write the content for you. It doesn't get it right the first or second time sometimes, and you know. Basically, you're paying for wasted credits. So this is my tier ranking. I hope it was helpful. And if you found this video helpful, could you please hit the like button? Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.